I think like the times I have the most success is when I let go of my ego. Uh, the flow state doesn't respond well to the ego. It laughs at you, and then you can only you have to laugh along with it. Perfection is a thing that I think haunts a lot of creatives. And I think it's something that is unattainable. It's something that like, we strive for, but it's actually a false goal that kind of undermines the joy of process and journey along the way. I guess it's been a bit of a journey. I've avoided the term artist for a long time. The two kind of come together uh, when they both place you in the present. There's a passion that's evoked when you're sitting there and working through, be it a high line or a drawing. A drawing's very delicate, just like walking the line is. You can kind of push too far sometimes and you kind of lose the magic that initially has sparked that. On a high line, if you push too far and you, you're just gonna fall. But you really have to kind of work between the two. And I think the flow state is something that relates and ties the two together a lot. Now, I love highlining because I don't know, it's tough to describe, like the void that like, just kind of invites you and it. Everything kind of falls away below you, and you can just stand there and be there, and it just kind of brings you back. I've kind of put my heart and soul into the, the process of learning and just like, continually exploring it. They obviously take place in very different circumstances, but it's also kind of that push and pull. It's finding a balance and rhythm to the way you're working. You allow fear to rule your mind. When you're present and engaging with it, you're not stressing. All comes together.